flashlight I bought for 20 bucks, and inside of it I mounted the Panic 20 watt amp. I had to take apart my uh, Nady 151, so, and it's just the board is in there now. Antenna sticking out of the top. I'm probably going to put a foldable antenna mounted on there eventually. You can hear some of those and some of the... Right now, it's playing a... MP3. I got a little RCA MP3 player right here. I know it's kind of hard to see. An 8151. Little Velcro, hold it in place. Right now, my amps... Or my... Nady's running just off a regular 9-volt battery, but I'm going to get a... a permanent voltage regulator hooked onto it, so it can run off the 12. This battery is from all, this flashlight is made by Ultimate, Ultimate Illumination Laboratories. I bought this flashlight for $20 at Horseshoes. I've got $79 in the, uh, I got $79 into the wireless. Twenty dollars for the amp, and then uh, I think these little RCAs are like thirty bucks. So all in all, I've got a pretty good setup here. You see it come with the strap and everything. It charges either by a car charger or by in the back here is a charger for uh, is a charger that plugs in the wall. And, I, and the speaker I bought is a six and a half inch Pioneer car audio speaker that's 30 watts nominal. And it's crystal clear. It's a two way six and a half inch. I bought a pair of them for 40 bucks at Walmart. So, to recap an RCA MP3 player. I don't even remember what it's called, a Muvo. Any RCA MP3 player would work. The Nady 151. Pioneer 6.5 inch full two way speakers. This Ultimate Illumination Laboratories flashlight. The great thing about this flashlight, it comes with a 12 volt, 4.5 amp hour battery. The light that was in here was a 55 watt light, so it's going to be great for this amp. With 4.5 amp hours out of this, this will last forever. If you put a voltage regulator on it, then you'll be able to turn then you'll be able to turn everything on from this 12 volt. Right now I have a little 9 volt battery inside there. And ultimately you could put a switch on here for the 9 volt battery. There's not much more room inside here for anything, but I am going to mount a jack right here for 12 volt out so that I can power um, a decoy on a little separate box. I was going to power the decoy right in here, but I want to be able to have a wireless relay, and I think it's be easier if that's just on a separate box because it's just a little keychain relay that goes here. You can hear the sounds that are going. I've got it turned down quite a bit.
I had to make the cable that goes to it. All in all, I've made several, worked on several different types of calls. And I think that this call is probably the best. And let's put, let me recap what it cost me. 20 bucks for the flashlight. That was battery, charger, everything. At Orson's. 40 bucks for a pair of speakers, so you can pay $20 for one speaker. That's $40. $30 for a little MP3 player. So that's, now I'm at 70 bucks. $79 for the online for the Nady 151. So I'm at $149 total in this setup. It's a little bigger, a little heavier, but mainly because of the battery that's available. It's got a little LEDs on the side to tell you where you're at charge-wise. You can check your charge. And the switch is right underneath to turn it off. And there's no hardly any hiss or hum. And I'm using a Canuck, you know, the Canuck kit from electronickits.com, the 193 just so you know.